Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'll be doing a sand showcase in a universal time on Roblox. Let's get straight into it. Sans has two passive abilities. The first passive ability is that he can move in time stops. Well, almost all time stops. The only time stop he cannot move in is true Sakuya's. The second passive is that his stamina part bar depletes when he gets attacked instead of his health. So, if this person hits me, as you can see, my stamina bar depleted and I'm not taking any damage. Keep going. As you can see, it just keeps on going down. And when it reaches zero, then they can hurt me. I just keep on teleporting and dodging the attacks. It's very useful, especially in fights when you really don't want to die. And those are Sans' passive abilities. So, the first move is Bone Throw. You just aim your cursor somewhere, then click. It's kind of weird and goes all over the place though. So, that's the first ability. The next ability is um, Bones, I think it's called. You have your cursor somewhere, and then press the E key, and it throws three bones. Well, no, five bones. Let's throw bone. And that's that ability. This is what it looks like from this angle the throw bone and the regular one a bone just comes out and goes to your cursor so the next ability is soul manipulation you hover your cursor above someone and hold down R and you can move them at the moment I was moving the menacing dummy as you can see it's got about an 11 second cooldown so let me show you that again you just grab them with your arm and move them somewhere. It's very good, especially w when you have aiming attacks like the bone throw, so you can just make them pause in position and do the bone throw. This is what it looks like from here. The arm just follows where your cursor goes. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is <laughs> very fun to use. The next ability is called Bone Zone. You press the T key on the keyboard and it summons a red zone full of bones to attack the other user. As you can see, you can just spam it basically. I can use it quite a bit. Just put it there. It's a very small radius of damage, but it does do quite a bit. So, if you're using like grab or something, you can grab them, move them closer and then do the bone zone. This is what it looks like from the side. He just brings it up from the ground. Yeah, around 100 damage. The next ability is Gaster Blaster. You aim your mouse somewhere and press the F key and Gaster pops up, shooting a laser. This is what it looks like from this direction. The next ability is Triple Gaster Blaster. Now you put your mouse somewhere and then press the H key and three Gasters pop up, all shooting at once. This one's got a longer cooldown because, well, it's three compared to just one. So as soon as it's finished, I'll show you it from this direction. That's what it looks like. The next ability is teleport. You just face a certain direction and then press the C key and you teleport forward. As you can see, it's only got a one second cooldown. So it's very good. And it can even go through things like through this tree or through this house. 
as you can see, and even through people as well. See? Straight through them. That is the teleport. Next is the pose. You press the G key and he starts bobbing and playing a song. The next thing he does is quotes. Press the N key and he says a quote. I've decided that it's not gonna be your turn, ever. I'm just gonna keep having my turn until you give up. Even if it means we have to stand here until the end of time. That's one of the quotes. Alright, now onto the combo. So now, I will show you my favourite combo with Sans. So you put your mouse over the person, hold down R, press E, F, H and click. R, E, F, H, click. As you can see, it takes away quite a bit for Reaper because they've got so much health. It only takes away half. But for other things, it takes away even more. That is my favorite combo. Now, on to how to get sands. So, to get sands, first you need to come over to the shop, which is right over here in the map, in the corner, head in, speak to this guy, and buy Shadow for two and a half million money. Once you have that, you need to go around the map and find the bone. It is the second hardest item to get. So good luck with that. And then you use bone on shadow and voila, you have sands. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.